is a silo where a hundred players will be trapped in trying to escape. In the silo, there's deadly machines, creepy experiments, and even underground facilities. Players are also set to hardcore mode, so they only have one life. For every subscriber I get on this video, I will be placing one TNT on my friend's hardcore world. So don't miss your chance. Get comfortable, grab some snacks, and this is the 100 player silo simulation. Our story begins within the silo that's separated within different levels. There's the lower level where food is low, but things like coal and materials like iron are pretty high down there since they have access to the mines. People found here usually have red usernames. The middle level where food supplies are pretty decent and their access to goods is pretty average as well. People found here have blue usernames. And lastly, the upper level where the farms of the silo are located and their usernames are golden they have it lavish this begins phase one not alone the goal for them here is to explore make some teams and prepare for the elections to decide on their leader 30 minutes from now we begin down here in the gutters the lower levels notable places down here are the black market dealer hallway the mines the silo floor and lastly the hidden generator room you can think of this place as the silo version of the hood you don't want to be here some enemies to look out for down here are bandits that are literally just trying to rob you. Fight back! Yeah, fight back! Got it. Yeah, the bandits were outnumbered by this alliance forming down there called the Baller. Steam cool golem? What the hell? Ah! What is that? Run! Oh, and I think I forgot to mention, there's also some steampunk golems down there. Yeah, and they attack people. Like this one, trying to steal Okram's doubloons. Ow! What the balls am I supposed to do? And then there was this guy, sleeping away. And then he got jumped by a steampunk golem. Oh! Oh my god! Bro! Run, run. These steampunk golems do a lot of damage, but drop these yummy treats. Copper nuggets. It's what they call money here in the silo. You guys think AI is going to start eating copper for lunch soon? Not too far in. Some realize that the water in the lower sections of the silo are contaminated and are poisoned. Guys, the consensus. water is poisoned. Warned, Don't touch water. Apparently water is poisonous. Oh what the hell? Where are you finding this out? <laughs> Dude, I'm just hearing them scream about water. <laughs> it literally kills you off if you try swimming in it. Someone fell into poisonous water They're actually dying of water at this point i refuse to believe it's radioactive because what the and some of the people in the lower layers wanted to go up the staircase but it didn't go too well for them oh hell yeah let's go up there all right yeah. let's do it in it people are falling guys don't die ah! <laughs> he fell in the trap oh hell no some took to the vents enclosed but safe from all of the enemies that are down there so it's honestly not a bad strategy they were crawling around there like spiders during migration another thing going on here was some toilet transporting business i don't really know what's going on here but we'll find out later meanwhile the district holds elections for the sheriff and the king slash queen of the silo here in the upper levels by the farms something important important that you guys might want to know here in the upper level cafeteria there's a monitor that shows us exactly what the outside world looks like as you can see it's pretty dead the reason they're stuck in the silo in the first place is because the outside world is now a barren world with no life in it they can't even live out there let alone breathe back to the elections though the sheriff plays the role of maintaining peace within the silo on every layer of course while the king or queen of the silo plays the role of representing the people and those are the two roles that they will be voting for. First, we'll be starting off with who gets to be sheriff. These are five of the contestants that the people have voted for so far. Let's see what they have to say. We got our Don't five bring. candidates. <clears throat> why do I want to be sheriff and why you should vote for me? My goal is to be a sheriff. I will tolerate no, 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 no stealing. No, no, no. I see you with the bread over there. Yeah, I'm actually good at Axe PvP so like. Yeah, I'm left-handed. Who, who, who trust a left-handed person? You're left-handed. You. Left -handed. Ew. Oh, no, I get some flavor, flavor. Is that no. Like... no. What's your take on the current stance of the economy? Kill anyone here complains. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. There is a major housing crisis. How are you going to solve that? <laughs> In the silo. Uh, kill the homeless people. Yeah, kill the homeless. I'm from Texas. What's your stance on gun control? Get out. Love them. Love guns. Get out. Guns for everyone. Food. Food for all. And the cherry I'm on top. Great. I'm right handed, no, not no, no, left handed. No, no. You don't Damn. want none of that left. I mean, that's a close, man. There was also supposed to be a contestant 
five, but he ended up playing some copyrighted music. So he got disqualified. Sucks to be him. It was kind of a tough choice. So the results are in. The winner for the uh, 2023 silo election sheriff result is by a almost landslide margin is uh, is Tex this the Texan Zanes. He yes, did it, Zanes. No, Texas, no. Yeah. Oh, this guy. But now Zanes is the person that got elected as the silo sheriff. Rick, this, is so this is when I gave Zane the option to upgrade his lifestyle since he was from the lower levels. Would you like to go back to, to the lower team? Because as sheriff, you can upgrade to the mid team. Dang, is that, is that like a higher lifestyle? I mean, Adrian, do I know something? <laughs> this right. is a sick. I, I, I like living bougie. I watch from above. It gets more and more Texan as it goes on. <laughs> Afterwards, we began to get some candidates for those that wanted to become king or queen. Well, first, let's look around. We see I'm the only blue because I am the best blue. I am also right-handed. I am not a lefty. Number three. Yeah. As a man of the people, uh -huh. I help the lower reds create crafting tables. My entire goal here is to rob the elitist of their wheat and give it back to you guys. Am, am, I, am I considered a part of the elite as sheriff? Okay, we don't yes. like this guy. You ain't robbing me. <laughs> Get this guy out of thievery. After all the votes came in and they gave their speeches, Zanes ended up getting the final say at who he will swear his loyalty to as the sheriff of the king. After a long struggle to pick a king, I'm thinking either the Still fish good. or Okram. Congratulations, Okram. You're the king. Yeah! Okram was selected as king of the silo. First thing he ended up doing as a king is finding himself a queen. Yeah, he ended up picking this fish with big lips. Who do you wish to be your queen? I can choose my queen? Mm -hmm. Hey, he had the I'll, get, oh, I'll get a red no queen with way. me. We like them red queens on me, bro. Who wants to be my queen? This, Okram. This fish right here? Oh, yeah. I have the right body. He, he, he has the body of a queen right here. And look at the lips. And look at the lips. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> If you'll please step under this so we can hold the wedding. Oh, how sweet. How sweet. They then ended up getting married. Yeah. Cross watching a fish and a king lock lips out of your bucket list. After things settled down, they headed back to the lower and mid floors with the rest of their people. The king, instead of giving the people of the silo some of the wheat from the farm supply up there on the upper levels, he decided to keep it for himself because he's a greedy little bitch. So the silo is now in its great famine. The sheriff goes to check out his newfound office and is in charge of finding trustworthy people to call his fellow sheriffs and helping him maintain the peace within the silo. Besides the upper members of this society, back down to the lower levels, we have Eopoke, who's the leader of Team Ballers. They decided it'd be best to cook up a settlement to protect themselves from the bandits and the machines that have gone rogue against them. It's their little safe haven from the chaos of the lower floors. And if I was them, I would do the same thing. That, that election for sheriff, yeah. most rigged thing ever. So basically, mm -hmm. I started gathering some people here who've taken over the trader, and we are making a better society because you know we need to take our army here and we need to start attacking the upper level and then we will find the sheriff the texas guy and we yeah. will kill him if we'll you could kill him you guys can become sheriffs by the way that's what oh. i'm talking about fellas oh. yeah that's good that's when i decided to inform them that there is in fact a place that they can get some resources down here oh. you gotta find, that you gotta find oh. it yeah but despite them preaching peace amongst the people having it the worst they had a revolution against the king and the sheriff wanting to slice off their heads and make the silo a better place at the moment notable groups that have formed our team ballers the toilet gang and the sheriff's team this is what the sheriff's team looks like as of right now they are amongst the first team to obtain iron armor now this is huge and it grows even bigger regardless of if they're born in the lower levels or the mid levels they just needed a working team the sheriffs head over to this revolution that they hear about in the lower levels and they decide to take matters onto their own hands we got we gotta go dip this revolution in the bud all right let's go let's go Let's go. There's the people. How do we get over there? Instead of controlling the crowd, they wanted to teach the people revolting against their superiors a lesson that they won't forget. While this was going on, the revolution down in the lower levels ended up discovering the mines. And this is very important. The reason why it's important is because the sheriffs completely outgear them because of the iron. So for the revolution to have any chance at beating the sheriffs, they began to mine their sad little lives away. Luckily for them, they had some of the only 
many diamonds within the entire silo down in the mines. So they smuggled unregulated diamonds and used them to make armor and weapons to fight with. The revolution was getting powerful. The one thing that the sheriff's team did have that the lower levels couldn't even imagine having is an enchantment table. Added to this, the bookshelves give them high enchants. They all began to enchant their armor and gear up knowing that the lower levels were up to something that was against them. Meanwhile, the other smaller groups in the silo consisted of exploring, looting, and making the other bases around the place. Like this one that this player talk decided to make, known as the Fortress of Dreams. Made out of random blocks and toilets, but I don't think this thing's really what anyone dreams about, to be honest. There was another toilet-based thing over here, an entire gang known as the Toilet Gang, and this was their base of operations. It's honestly one of the most organized groups I've ever seen in a while. It was owned by Cammy and Big Bone. Yeah, they both owned it. Eelpoke and his lower level revolution is taken to the spiral staircase on their way to confront the sheriff that they seem to hate. Over on the sheriff's side of things, he ended up inspecting the toilet gang and was trying to make an alliance with their gang, which is a very smart move. I heard my name. Hold on. We gotta go up here and see what's happening. We gotta investigate. Hello. Hello, my citizens. What's going on here? Do you want to join, join the toilet cult? That's me, y'all, and the sheriff. Shake your hands. Shake your hands. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. There's a revolution of Foreman, I think, led yeah, by Fuego. We are not going to let this come to fruition. That is our goal. We are just letting you know. All right, Let's go. Sheriff deputies, come on. This way, they had more numbers in case they got jumped. And speaking of getting jumped, the revolution attacks the sheriff's team on the top floors. Well, like, go right. further up the sheriff's, further up, further up. Go up, go up. We can kill them all once we get up. This is when things get way too real and way too out of hand. And without a second to waste, we begin phase two, confrontation. This gives the players some time to talk to one another before PvP turns on in 10 minutes. The revolution meets the sheriff's team for the first time. Oh, oh this makes my job easy. Fuego, come here. I need to talk to you. I want to I wanna talk. I just want to talk. I don't yes. conspire. Yo, people go real oh, nice. no, Fuego, you're going to regret not coming with me. Fuego, don't listen to this goddamn dog. Fuego, you have to drop it to me. The main quarrel here was that the lower levels thought that the election was rigged since the sheriff was the one that got to choose who got elected. Come dog, with me. Fuego, no respect for listen. you. You, you had a rigged election. I have zero respect. I did no rigging. The people. The dog, people wanted dog. me. 15 people voted for me and you chose the guy with two votes. You have no rights. You are nothing but a fraud. How oh, dare you, you call me a fraud? Your mother is you a know what? Shut up. Yeah. Down with the revolution. Down with the revolution. Fuego was burnt with a bucket of lava. I guess the sheriff realized how little the revolution respected his authority. This caused a huge commotion, as you can probably guess, showing that the sheriffs were willing to get blood on their hands to get what they want. After the kerfuffle, everyone went back to their lairs to cool off a bit. The sheriff felt a bit bad about how the situation went down. He wanted to go down there to just passively ease down the situation with the revolution and explain himself. We have a meeting. Discuss what just happened. Things okay. just got Things just went okay. wild. My heart's beating. Like Zane, this is Nick Big Boy yes. talking. Uh, let's let's follow me. Follow me, Zane. Uh, let's have this. Is the toilet cult leader and the king and queen. Let's have a meeting. Right, okay. Hello, Zane. Right. All right. Hello. All right. Everybody. Oh, back else, everybody oh, else, back, back up. up. Yeah. This place is getting blooded with toilets. Right. What's happening? All right. All right. Yes. Okay. What, what do I discuss? Well, I really just wanted to talk with him. He didn't want to talk. He said he didn't respect me. Really, really hurt my feelings. So I, I acted Hello. out. Let this be an example. Uh, if you dare go against the sheriff, there's a major divide right now between us and the lower class. We just assassinated like their hero. So I think right now we got to go down there and lay down the law. Hey, I'm fine yeah, with that, I mean, brother. We got to let everyone know what's happening <laughs> and let them know what happens boss. if you dare oppose Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> damn left. Yeah. Or so I thought. Yeah, he actually wanted to go down there to put a stop to them being in the mines and getting more gear than them. Diamonds were literally the most valuable resource within the silo. So them going down and wasting it on their gear, which was illegal in the first place because they were supposed to be feeding it to the higher-ups. The sheriff and his team decide to head down into the silo to search for the revolution and the mines that they're talking about. They finally arrive at the lower levels. They can sense that the sheriffs were feared here. No one wanted to lose their life to a corrupt sheriff. They scour the lower floors but cannot find these mines. The reason being is because the revolution ended up blocking up the 
the entrance to the mines when they heard them coming down and began shifting, concealing themselves from anyone nearby. This was a really good move on their part. They even tried interrogating some of the locals there to tell the sheriff where these revolutionaries were hiding, but the efforts did not pay off well. The longer that the sheriff's team was down here, the more and more anxiety that they end up getting. They are in the revolution's home turf, their natural habitat. An attack down here from the people that are in the revolution having diamonds can go horribly wrong for the mid team. So as more and more unease ends up filling up the room, they decide to back out. The numbers of lower level people were unnaturally low, meaning they were either hiding or waiting for the perfect opportunity to ambush them. And they were not going to be taking that sort of risk. So they ended up heading back up the stairs back to the mid levels where they were from. On their way up, they ended up confronting Tonk and his expanding empire. Yo, everyone chill. Who's your leader? Who's your leader? To me. Tonk? Is that you? Yes. Oh, watch yes. out, water, 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 watch out. Whoa. Oh, okay. It's bad. Tonk, we'll let you do what you do, but you better not be conspiring with the revolution. Okay? No, All right, we're, just peaceful, right? we're having a house. We're, guys, oh, we got bigger God. fish to fry. Come out. No. Seems like they've come to a truce with them too. The revolution, on the other hand, has no allies. This looks like it might be a problem for them. The only ones that truly hate the sheriff is the revolution. Everyone else is kind of passive aggressive or just neutral about it. A growing army like the sheriffs requires a very big and large source of food. Luckily for them, they were teamed with the king, and this simply meant that they had access to the upper levels where the wheat farms were very vast. Get the food line. Yo, 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 apparently the mines are trapped. Their intuitions were right. If they ended up going down there, some of the people within their group may not even come back alive. I got intel on the on the, the revolutionaries. Does, does that mean you're working with the revolutionaries? Are you working no, with I'm, the No, I'm the sheriff, no, dad no, gummit. No, no. He's the sheriff. I got a mole in the inside. After some time had passed, the revolution finally shed out of their cocoon by leaving the mines. This took a while because they were really scared. They began on a scouting mission to scout out the troublesome upper layers and to see what kind of alliances were formed while they were in the mines. This is just kind of a scavenging mission, right? Give me one person to come with me. We I'm need to defend people. here. We need to defend here. They are not, we are currently the weakest they team. Won't people want us dead. Let me go with Chris. They I've seen the other flaws plenty of times. No, 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 no. Here. Think about it. Yeah, yeah but I, I we're I not sending you out. You have I've our best gear. Boss. If you die, no, like that's, they get. That's why I should go. I've the no. most gear. What? No, that's the most no, important thing ever. They if they kill you, they're gonna get to they here. can't gonna... kill me. They can't kill yes, me. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. If five of them gangle for you, what are you gonna do? You're dead. You're dead. That, that's, You're dead. That's, that's if, right. if, if I go gangle for you, can't beat them. Two of them were sent up on this mission. Pay attention to them because we're gonna find out what happened to them later in this video. Meanwhile, in the upper layers, the sheriff's team is heading down, mainly in the direction of his office, and making sure nothing fishy is going on here. The rest revolution was also not the only thing that they should fear. Other creatures that emerged from the lower level labs crept up on them. Even the toilet gang had to deal with these creepy crawling experiments. Nowhere was truly safe here. Guys, oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, shoot. Enter, enter. 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 Back up. Ah, 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 creepy people. This is what the teams look like so far. Lower levels having the most players, mid levels having the second most, kings and queens being marked orange, and the sheriff's main team is Teal. All right, so here's the game plan, boys. We are going to hold down this floor like our lives depend on it. Phase five, I'm pretty sure, is going to be flooded. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather be higher up than lower down in those mines when yes, it happens. You know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. So we got to hold down the fort, all right? Oppress the lower class, literally <laughs> and figuratively, all right? Damn that right. is our motto. <laughs> Okay, so it seems they're actually trying to straight up eliminate the revolution. Throughout the days here, you may have noticed that there's water all over the place, and this is definitely not for show. Some was in fact placed by players, but some were also leaked pipes. These pipes were located at the top, but most assumed that it would be happening from the bottom up. The world event is known as the flood, and the reason why this is important is because the water there is radioactive, harming the players that go into it. The lower levels drain the water, but the upper floors get flooded since the pipes up there have no place to actually flood down. If they're gonna escape, they better figure out a way to do it now. Besides the main teams, our King Okram is being chased by an experiment himself. He started booking it. Back to the sheriff's team, they were holding a meeting on the middle levels, trying to get everyone on the same page so when things break into anarchy 20 minutes from now, no one is going out of line. At this point, the sheriff's team wanted to unelect Zanes. Since he no longer hated the revolution, he 
came to realize that he was in fact in the wrong and saw himself not fit to be the leader. He wanted to become a normal citizen again without the power, without the responsibility, and without the big target on his head. This entire fight came from a misunderstanding. The revolution thinking that the elections were rigged while the sheriff thinking that they're out of line for fighting back. This just needs to stop. But take a look at the revolution. They've managed to get themselves in chance as well. Like, how did they even pull that off? It looks rough because the sheriff's one advantage was that the sheriff team had enchants and now it's gone. They also began to get a bit blood hungry. And I'm talking about the revolution. Seeking revenge for the humiliation that they hit Fuego with. Then they found out what happened to the two scouts that the revolutions sent up. Our, our scouts like have been murdered, guys. When are we going to be able to do damage? They, they've, been no. they killed, they've been killed. They, they, we now know that it is very dangerous up there because the scouts got killed. The scouts are dead. Seems it's not as safe as they assumed it would be. Not too long after we began phase three war of the people this phase gives players a blackout no regulation no rules the goal here is to either fight to protect your lair or hide to survive past it the king okram had a grudge against one of the members of the mid-level it was Tong. when it was finally time for the king to take action i'm sorry Tong. Yes. It's, it's, it has to happen it has to happen he so cool on me he slices Tonk's head off clean. And then they all began to siege Tonk's settlement and his people. They were brutally murdered. But if you pay close attention to Tonk's death, you'll hear him screaming revolution, which meant that Tonk was actually siding with the revolution. revolution. Despite the king knowing his loyalty to his people and his sheriff's team, he had to make a very hard choice because he held Tonk very dearly. Then a deal was requested of me. Go, Adrian, how many people no, do no, I have to kill to bring Tonk back? My response to it was if he killed five members of the revolution or one member of the sheriff squad tonk can be revived this easily led to a fight against this guy named anvil being the sacrifice for tonk's revival okram thought he could change tonk's mind by this act and by getting tonk to swear his loyalty anvil ended up taking the burden on himself to make the job easier for both his brothers and his team he truly was loyal but the same cannot be said about tonk tonk ended up being revived but what happened was that they failed to realize that Tonk did not want to be revived in the first place. And before we knew it, the sacrifice and Tonk was all for nothing and forever gone. Because Tonk jumped off of the rail. No! Before the sheriff's team and the king could collect their thoughts, this ended up happening. So the revolution got tired of being oppressed and they charge up to lead the attack against the sheriff's team of theirs. Oh, guys, 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 look at the stairs. Look Lord. at the stairs. The guys, stairs, the stairs, the stairs. I, look at the I didn't hit him. Uh, that's a lot of diamonds. No, I, no. I hit him. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, God. Push the stairs. Oh, God. That's a, that's a lot, that's a lot of diamonds. Uh, <laughs> let's go, come on, let's go, go, go. We need you, the, the stairs. stairs. We're being attacked. What? We're being attacked. Oh, shoot. Retreat! They were getting tired of being the laughing stock of the silo. They are outside of the sheriff's team while the revolution actually kept going up. The reason for that is because they are under the assumption that the flooding will stack up from the bottom still. This is also the revolution's first time seeing how good the upper layers actually had it. The food, the friends, the allies, they had it all, bruh. All the lower classes knew were poverty. The mines, the loud generators, bandits, everything horrible. But with every Everything breaking apart around them, the steampunk beasts also began to lurk the farms as well. Truly, no place in the silo is perfectly safe. There were some people that decided to stay near the very top of the silo in full diamond, and they finally reached the top to see they're not alone. They ended up negotiating with the people up there to call a truce. The revolution's first truce since they were in the silo. The toilet gang even got involved, trapped up there with the steampunk beasts. Half of the sheriff's alliance. The sheriff's team was still down here, and they've been super cautious to even engage with the revolution, even as it stands. But little did they know, they already had something that they haven't thought of yet. A mole. This is Sword. He was both in the revolution and the sheriff's inner circle, and was feeding the revolution information from the very beginning. And also was the reason the revolution managed to get enchants. It all started to make sense now. Every location of theirs were kept tabs on by Sword. And by then, it already became a witch hunt. Chris began to chase the sheriff's team and the king. Run, run for it! Run for it! 
Oh my lord. No, we fight back. We fight back. Come on. We no, we're not fighting. Wait, that. wait, yo, there's one right. guy trying to attack us. I see him. I see him. I'm gonna go try to hit him off. Oh, oh, oh. Did he hit me? What the help, help. Yo, where are you? Yes, yes, I need help. Oh my lord, oh my lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full diamond! Full diamond. <laughs> come up, come up, get up! <laughs> Dude, dead gummit, we've left you guys for like two minutes, not even. You know what time it is, Chris? Stab. It's time to stab, guys. Please don't no. call all your other friends. I've got no friends. Please. All of them left me. Please, please, it's my first love event. I don't want to die. All right, please. kill him. Now you're, no, you're staying for the event. <laughs> That's so the cute. experience, <laughs> Okram. Who are you, Chris? Chris, I'm come Chris. here. Chris, come here. We can, we can negotiate. Don't worry, I'm we can negotiate. We gotta save Okram. Okram, I'm dropping water. I'm dropping water right here. Right here. Swim out to the wall. The wall. The wall. Get up, Okram. Get to the wall. That's actual water. Get up. Get up. Swim. 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 Get him off. Yes. We got him. We got him. We saved him. Let's go, Okram. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my God. The other two. Where the other two? They're dead! They died! Dead. Oh my god, alright. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> that was actually so clutch! The sheriff and the king made a really good dynamic duo and made it to the middle after this witch hunt. But the witch hunt is long from its end. Little did they know, the entire revolution is up there hunting Zanes and Okram down till they're beaten to a pulp. But they decide to meet back up with Toilet Gang. So they're all in one group now, increasing their chances of survival. Now they're happy with their little family of rats being hunted down. That was some pretty scary stuff. They come up with a plan to infiltrate the revolution using Big Bone, one of the leaders of Toilet Gang. And after earning their trust, he would help Zane's overthrow them and come out on top. Before they can even come up with an organized plan, they got jumped again and the revolution chases down the king. For the second time now. Oh, you want to kill a king? That's been my choice. Just turn off my mind. Yo, they're behind no. us, they're behind us. Go, go, go. This was looking pretty much impossible for the sheriff and the king's reign. Their time is literally coming to a close. Even Zane's got locked up in one of the dorms trying to hide from all of the manslaughter. He was losing his mind. The queen had died. She died to the revolution's leadership, Eopo. Kept killing off people, threatening them, causing internal conflict within their very own team. Fuego was just not agreeing with the way Eopo led things and thought if Eopo was kept in leadership, they will fail. And at this point, this is how many people are still alive. 50% of the silo is basically killed off. After having a long talk with Eopo, Fuego convinced the team to be against Zane's in specific, the one who rigged everything. The queen never deserved to die. And the king, Okram, he shouldn't even be caught in the crossfire either way because he did nothing wrong so far. The moment they split ways, Eopoke was killed off by one of his own teammates. No, so I, I was confused because it wasn't... Damn. Damn. Try telling y'all about the internal conflicts. This was the revolution's rough patch. They also spoke to some of the sheriff's team. Some ended up folding because they realized they were not the biggest team there and they just simply didn't want to die. So they created a temporary alliance against Saints. The sheriff and the king end up meeting up again in the sheriff's office hiding. The war between the revolution only ends when either the king dies or the sheriff dies. But there needs to be some blood to end this war. Instead of offering their own lives, they ended up taking a different approach. They entered this place called the generator room. We'll get into that though. And wanted a place to hide together. They wanted to escape this silo, even if it meant harming the bystanders of the silo and their old teammate. This then began phase four, escape. The goal here is to get out. The silo is literally flooding, giving them a few days till this place is completely uninhabitable. Notable places here that are unlocked is the generator room, the sewers, and the mining drill chasm. Looking into the generator room, there's dead bodies, and then they soon realize that it's breaking down due to the flood. They'll need to fix the generator to get to the mining drill chasm without it being left completely in the dark. The way to fix this is by pulling both of these levers, which should waterproof the machinery. Moving back to the king and the sheriff, they rose to the top of the generator. They wanted to get the jump on the people after them. Little did they know that at this point, everyone was after them. And this is when they started flooding in. Half 
half of these were here to fix the generator, while the other half was looking for Zanes. This is when Zanes and Okrams decided to pull a fast one on them, leaving the generator room just as Fuego and his revolution entered it. The king and the sheriff finally met back with Toilet Gang, and they ended up teaming again. Toilet Gang was never loyal to the revolution. They ended up aiming to get to the real deal exit, which is the mining trail chasm. In order to get here, they need to discover the back end sewers, check behind the painting and enter through that. And that's exactly what they did. Meanwhile, in the revolution side of things, they ended up fixing the generator by going all the way to the top and pulling the final lever. Their time to exist in the silo is now extended, but still on a time limit because of the flood. Now for the mining drill, this is a huge room filled with contraptions parkour and lastly and most importantly the exit to the silo it was built as a safety net for those that were in the silo and a part of this giant social experiment just look at how difficult it is for them to escape i'm bouncing i'm bouncing but yeah zanes is still here fuego wants blood bro funny enough it didn't take fuego that long to finally make it over into this underground facility zanes better watch his back oh my god it's chris okay i'm gonna <laughs> keep going okram be careful oh They're my still god blood hungry <laughs> they only came here for you. You know, they were willing to stay in the silo just to murder you. <laughs> to, to die. What is wrong with these people? <laughs> they watch They really want to mess with Texas, man. No, Cam's dead. Wait, where's Okram? Oh, wait, he died, right? No, Okram's still alive. He's back there struggling. Oh my god, it's a pool. After a while, Zanes was the first person to make it to the halfway mark on top of the mining machine. Damn, you actually made it up here. Okram ended up being the second person, which makes them the closest to actually escaping. <gasps> it's Okram! It's Okram! Okram, Okram! Hello? Okram! You're still alive? Okram, how are you alive? Yo. I'm keep coming, keep coming. Okram, Okram, I kill the people. I kill people. We gotta go, though. Yes, Okram. But they end up staying behind to plot out a murder. Yeah, you heard me right. A murder. Chris was the one that chased the king and almost killed him. So they wanted their revenge. And right when Chris got up there at the halfway mark. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. The Don't you mess up. up. Uh, so you're, up. Oh, yeah. you're so close to the end, Chris. The end is near. Adrian, my hands are sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> One fall and it's all over, buddy. Again. What is this spinning as well? Is that spinning? Why is it spinning? This should be that hard. Bro. Yeah, it should. It should. Huh? Long live the ship. Oh, chill out, bro. You almost hit me. Oh my, oh my god, god, we got him. Oh oh Okram, you almost killed me. Oh my god. Oh, oh crap. You freaking him. idiot. <laughs> Holy bro. We did it. We did it. Okay, we go. We go. We go now. He was shoved off by those two. You're one pipe away from doing 50% of it. What? No. Stop. Stop. What? Oh, oh. Oh, it's a level of difficulty. Oh crap. Oh my god. Yes! Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. As you can see here, there's a lot of players that were struggling since the parkour had moving segments and parts. One small fall and they'd fall into the water below. Okram decided to go on ahead while Zanes and Fuego had a really good talk. This talk led them to a brawl between the two. A fist fight to the death. They just wanted to end it all and end the beef. Wait, so who are you against at the moment? Just Zane's? No! It's just Zane! Oh, it's Zane's. Zane's there. Zane's right there. No, come back. <laughs> Come back. Hey, you little sh <laughs> What? Do the, do the parkour, man. I won't interfere. I want to kill you. Well, come do oh, it then. Man. All this can end. Come kill me. Die. Last time I checked, your a lava bucket is your weakness. Lava. Bro, dog. I literally sat there. And let For it someone who's called Fuego, which I'm pretty sure means hot. Dog, you literally had a lava bucket when there was about, no PvP. Dude. What are you talking you know, about? One thing you want to know about us Texans is we deal real well with the heat. It's like 100 degrees dog. right here right now. Dog, I don't even care about the parkour. All I want is you. I no one wants you to be the sheriff. Zane. I literally was the one that was voting for you to be the sheriff. Are you dumb? I was one of your main contributors. I'm mad at you because you decided to pick Okram over me for no reason. I have 15 votes saying they wanted me. Oh, it's rigged. That's, that's the part I'm saying it's rigged. Went the sheriff. Okram's Dog, a better I don't man watch than you are, I said Okram's better than you are. He's a better leader. He's not. That's why there's Look at you. Look at you. You just led people on this path of hatred just to come after me. That's funny. Instead of trying to survive this Zane, absurd circumstance. Zane, Zane, you know what's Okram crazy? has been a leader through and through. What's crazy? I wasn't even a leader of revolution. 
That's what you're missing. I d had nothing to do with them. I was just following and getting loot with them. So then why you're either with them or you're against them? Well, I'm with them now. Why don't you kill me with a lava bucket? You sealed your face. I wanted to talk to you, Fuego. I wanted to pull you dog. out of my office and have a talk. Dog. Yeah, dog. Well, we can do it. We can do a sumo Honestly. fight on this like pole thing. Honestly, yeah. The arena was set, and the fight between the two leaders began. Sheriff versus the revolution. Yeah, dude, are we ready? Is everyone ready? Fuego, no matter what happens, man, it's all love. Alright? All love, all love, all love. This is for this is for everyone who's right handed. Five. Four, three, two, one, go! Go, go Zane! Revenge me, revenge me. Oh, oh yo! Oh, no, what? Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh, oh, that's what you get! You saw it! You saw it! You guys saw it! You guys saw it! He pulled a sword! I knew he would do that! I knew he would do that! He pulled it first! I want as a man of honor! Down with the revolution! Yes, sir. Down with the revolution! And Zane's ended up winning. They both took out weapons during the fist fight. Kind of grimy, but one out of the two were still alive. So Zane's was that one person. Zane's ended up reuniting back with his king, Okram. I love you. You fall, you die. Yep, basically. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, with the revolutions, two leaders, Eopoke and Fuego, both killed off, they all began to work together to just leave this place in one piece. The further they got, the more riskier the jumps and the contraptions were gonna be. And with a leap of faith, Zanes was the only person to make it to the last area known as the Metalworks. If he gets past this final trial, which is to make it up to here, he can escape the silo and forget all the hardships betrayals and most importantly the ones he's lost to even make himself get up here and after all of this zanes victoriously makes it over to the exit leaving the revolution on their knees pause and he gets to live his life in the outside world which is actually not barren at all it was full of life the monitor basically lied if you want to see more experiments just like this one check out this playlist